Health officials say two cases of the Brazil variant have now been detected in San Diego. Research shows it's more resistant to the vaccines, but a lot of people are wondering just how much more resistant is it? And is it more deadly? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth about what we know about this emerging variant. To understand the concern about the Brazil variant, you have to fly to a city in the center of the Amazon rainforest, Manaus. Early in the pandemic, the virus swept through the city. By October, one study estimated 76% of the city's population had antibodies, what they thought was good enough for herd immunity. But two months later, hospitalizations surged. And they actually had more hospitalizations and more cases than even the first wave. So it's a real cautionary tale suggesting that people that had gotten COVID before were now able to be reinfected by this new strain. Using data from Manaus, a team of British researchers recently estimated the Brazil variant could be up to two times more transmissible than the original version, a claim the CDC and the WHO have not yet endorsed. The same study also looked into whether the variant caused more severe disease and deaths. But the researchers said they couldn't reach a conclusion because the local health care system in Manaus collapsed. But health authorities agree the Brazil variant has mutations in its spike protein that appear to make it more resistant to our current antibody treatments and more resistant to the vaccines. We don't know much about the impact on the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines because those vaccines were tested before variants emerged. But Johnson & Johnson is a different story. The Johnson & Johnson trial was run in South Africa, in North America, and in South America, largely Brazil. And so we have actual clinical data of how good this vaccine is in, in uh, context where this Brazil variant is circulating. And it's really pretty darn good. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego says J&J's overall effectiveness dropped from 72% in the U.S. to 68% in Brazil. But then when we look at severe disease, hospitalization, uh, and needing oxygen, the Johnson & Johnson is actually 87.6% in Brazil where it was tested. So it gives us really good uh, confidence that this vaccine will protect against uh, the Brazil variant. Dr. Raymer says if he had to rank the variants, he's more concerned about the one first detected in South Africa. According to the CDC's latest data, there have only been four known cases of that variant in California, along with four known cases of the Brazil variant. With so few cases, scientists say we can still prevent those variants from taking off if we keep vaccinating quickly. Derek Stoll, ABC 10 News. County health officials say in the two local cases of the Brazil variant, neither person was vaccinated and both recovered quickly.